What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys Contrary Malamar for Ranked Regulation H. Now, Malamar, definitely a weird slash odd Pokemon, but it has a really dope typing of Dark and Psychic. We also added on the Fighting Tarot type to pair up with Superpower and that Contrary ability. It's got Leftovers as item, and it's got Knock Off, Topsy Turvy to deal with Pokemon that like to boost their stats, and last but not least, it has Protect. So Contrary Malamar, definitely a fun Pokemon, haven't used it in a good bit, looking to grab some wins for you guys with that. Also on this team, we have Dragapult, but this Dragapult is kind of different than most. Most of the time in Regulation H, you are seeing Choice Band Dragapult. We are now using it on a special attacking side with Choice Specs Dragapult. You gotta love it. It's got Infiltrator as its ability with that, you know, Dragon Tyro type to boost Draco Meter even more. Then we got Flamethrower, Shadow Ball, and U-Turn. So a great special attack and moveset. Cannot wait to use this speedy big time hitter. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features Rillaboom, Primarina, Sneasler, and Talonflame. A lot of meta Pokemon on today's squad. We're looking for some wins for you guys. Rillaboom doing Rillaboom things, setting the terrain. Primarina, a great special attacker with Liquid Voice and Throat Spray. Sneasler, a great physical attacker who could also fake out. And Talonflame, a great speed control Pokemon that can also hit hard on the physical attack side. Guys, want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Contrary Malamar. Looking to grab ourselves our first win for today's video in our first match. And we're going up against Magmortar. Such a dope Pokemon. Love his design. They also have Dusclops. They got King Gambit. They have Ursa Luna, Miascarada, and last but not least, they got Rillaboom. So we got Rillaboom. They got Rillaboom. Only same Pokemon on each team. So I think from here, honestly, going into like Malmar, not bad. Especially if they want to leave like King Gambit or even like Ursa Luna, like, and, or even Miascarada, who's a dark type. Superpower can do some damage. Plus, they have a lot of physical attackers, which is really nice for, you know, those defense boosts that come with superpower and contrary. So, I'm going to end up leading Malamar. I could also lead our fake out user, which could be really nice. I actually have two fake out users. I could go in with Sneasler. Hmm. I could go in with the Sneezy. And I am going to go in with Sneezy. I like the Sneasler better than the Rillaboom here. So, I'm going to go Sneasler. I'm going to go in with my boy Dragapult. And last but not least, did we go Pre or Rillaboom? Or not Pre. I don't I don't want Primarina. So many grass types. Actually, I mean Pre's not bad, but I'd rather go Talonflame or Rillaboom here. And I'm kinda leaning towards Talonflame, considering you got that Brave Bird, you got Brave Bird Fire Blitz. Really good combo. I'm gonna go Talonflame. I know a lot of people like to lead Talonflame, but Talonflame late game, not bad. It's just such a quick Pokemon and it can hit so hard with Flare Blitz or uh what is it? Flare Blitz or Brave Bird. It just does too much damage not to bring. So I'm bringing it in here. Base 120 stat moves. Come on, man. Too much damage. Too much damage on our hands. And it's fast. So most likely it's outspeeding. Unless they want to pop Trick Room. I know they got a nice little Trick Room Pokemon with the Dust Cops. And are they going to lead it? They are going to end up leading it. So honestly, I feel as... I feel as there's a hot chance that you potentially protect my Mortar. Considering we obviously have a fake out Pokemon. And I'm just going to double down to this Dust Cops. So I'm going to go there. And I am just going to go for a Dire Claw. I mean, Dire Claws are our best bet. Maybe we get a status condition. But I think my Mortar protects. Follow me. You got to follow me. All right. I see you. I understand. So follow me comes out here. Dire Claw going to chunk up some damage. Any status condition. We get a nice little poison. We get a little poison off. So that's fine. And he got Rocky Helmet. Ah, oh, come on, man. Took off my Focus Ash like that. At least we're knocking off the Rocky Helmet. So Rocky Helmet gone. Um, Trick Room does pop. And the play for us is to just KO the Magma Mortar here and take off that Evo Light. We really don't need that on the field. Luckily, I got some leftovers popping. Poison's slowly chipping away. So we could go for Follow Me another turn. Again, I really want to go for that knockoff onto this uh, Dust Cops just to get Evo Light on. And then I'll just Dire Claw again into Meg Mortar just to finish it off. So there's the follow me again, no problem. Totally fine by me. And Nightshade's just gonna slowly chunk up some damage. That's what's cool about Nightshade. It does the same amount of damage every time. And you're outspeeding? Did you outspeed last time? Oh, it's Trick Room. I don't like that. I want to knock off that Evo Light. I want to knock off that Evo Light. I totally forgot. Any status condition? Nope, nothing. All right, so we're sitting here. Gotta waste out some Trick Room turns. Match number one. Um, 
Hmm. Yeah, really fast Pokemon late game. Really fast. They probably go into like Ursuline here, which is the tough part here. And we're just looking to waste out some turns. Please don't go Ursuline. We don't want that. <laughs> we don't want that at all, but we know he's going into Ursuline. Yeah, knocking off that Evio late's gonna be so good. There's the Ursuline. Maybe a normal terror is going to fly out here. Most likely. I would love to go for close combat. I could double protect here. Actually, do you even have protect? You do. Double protect definitely going to be our play. We have to waste out at least another turn here. Just to read out what he's doing. Let's just read out what he's doing first and foremost. So we'll see the terror type. Most likely normal. Or it could be ghost. It could be ghost trying to dodge a close combat. So I guess we'll see firsthand what it is. It's going to be normal. So if we can land a close combat in that slot. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I honestly was thinking of just protecting Malamar. But this has got to be a hyper voice night cheat kind of play. Let's see what you got. Double protect flying. Wasting out another turn of trick room. Hmm. And brick breaks going to fly for dust cops. Weakness policy. Oh, no. That's not good. That's not good. Not one bit. Not one bit. <laughs> That's not good one bit. Brick break into weakness policy popping. All right. I see you. I understand. Okay. Um. Let's see. How many turns we got rocking left in trick room? How many turns do we have rocking left in trick room? We got two. You got to. Honestly, our best bet is to just go for double protect because you are not surviving this hyper voice, Malmor. And I'm going to swap and I'd rather sacrifice this talent flame more so than anything. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because if I can bring back out Sneasel, I can fake out and waste the last turn of Trick Room. So that's going to be the play. We're going to go for double protect. If we can land double protect, that'd be gorgeous. That'd be lovely. And we don't. No RNG right now. Not a lick of it in sight. Nice Shade's gonna fly. He's gonna deal some damage to Malamar. Hyper Voice is going to launch. Weakness policy boosted. Terror boosted. Stab boosted. Bye bye, everybody. Yeah, that just deletes the field. Alright. So now we're sitting here with two Pokemon. We got our Sneasler. And we got Dragapult. So obviously, I can fake out the Ursula and Waste Out Trick Room. Definitely what I want to do. It's definitely what I want to do. But do I want to choice into Shadow Ball? I think I want to also do that. I think I also want to choice into Shadow Ball. You got Dark Terror type. It's okay. You got Dragon. Really don't need to send a Terror type right now. Looking at their moves, we really don't need to send it. So yeah, I'm going to go for Shadow Ball. I'm going to go for Fake Out. And we're looking to waste out these Trick Room turns. There's Fake Out. A little bit of bop. Nice Shade's going to launch in that slot. That's fine. That's fine. It's going to do respectable damage as it always does. Shadow Ball, can you half this Dust Cops for me? At least. Your choice. Beautiful. That's what I needed. That's what I needed. Trick Room, gone. That's huge. That's huge. Because now I can Shadow Ball you down. And then I can just go for Close Combat and look to KO Ursulino. Which I hope it would. I mean, Stab Close Combat. Super effective. Should be it. It's Dragapult launching. Bop. See you later. Get on out of here. Dust Cops. Going. And if we can close combat drop this, this could be good. This could be good. Come on. Let's go. Great plays on our end. Sacrifice that, that Talon Flame. We knew we were dead. We needed that fake out turn, though. That fake out turn was massive. That fake out turn was massive. Okay, so now down to the final Pokemon. Let's see what they got. We're choosing the Shadow Ball on the Dragapult slot, so. I can't remember their team, so I'm hoping it's somebody who at least takes neutral damage to Shadow Ball. It's going to be King Gambit. I mean, I can, um, I can close combat that. But, I mean, you can Sucker Punch me. I got Dark Terror type, though. We should be able to eat up Sucker Punch. Let's do it. Let's do it. We should be able to eat up Sucker Punch with Dark Terror type. And that's all we need. We just need to eat up the Sucker Punch. I was going to protect and just read, read it, but I was just like, wait a minute. We still have Terra. We got Dark, which is money here. And we should be able to soak a Sucker Punch. 
We should be able to. Unless it's going in Dragapult. No, it's going in this slot. That still KOs me? I lost now. I lost. Thanks for playing, Jeans. Thanks for playing. We lost now. We simply lost. We lost. Played that one so well. Sneasler, you can't soak that. With like 70 HP. Your defense at 100. Your EV invested into it. Come on now. Come on now. Man, played that one so well just to lose it. Here comes the Sucker Punch. Thanks for playing. That really hurts. Bye bye, Dragon Pool. Yeah, King Cam is just ridiculously strong. Again, play that one super well. We end up losing that one. I'll give a GG's to our opponent on that one. Ladies and gentlemen, we got some bad news. The manager called me from up above. They're like, hey, yo, Sneetzler has got to be soaking those Sucker Punch. And I was talking to him. I was like, I know. I know I thrasilized the dark. It was not very effective. It Like, Sneetzler has got to be soaking those Sucker Punches. And he told me that Sneetzler's on a one-game suspension. So, sorry, guys. I, I, I can't do anything about that. Sneetzler... We're not bringing you in this match. Manager told me you're suspended. Match number two on its way. We're sitting 0-1. Going up against Politoed Azumarill. Could be Belly Drum. Could not be Belly Drum. Either or. They also have Grand Ninja. They got Pelipper. A lot of rain going on here. And then they got Gengar and Mimikyu. Um, man, I really want to use Malamar here. But Malamar, I don't. Mm, not too good. Not too good. Here. Actually, I mean, we do it anyway. We definitely want Robin. I mean, Robin's going to be a menace. We definitely want Mulbin. So I'm gonna go, you know, I'm gonna go Malmar. I am gonna end up going Wilbum here. Let's just get things started with that. I like that. And I could go Primarina. Especially like in the rain. It can do respectable damage and then it has Moonblast. Um definitely with Dragapult. And I think I'm just gonna go Primarina. I would honestly like to have Sneasel here. But again, it's on it's on a one game suspension. I can't do anything about it. I I simply can't. I simply can't. So we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out in the meantime. They have no terrain control, which actually works really well for us. You can send a lot of grassy guys across the middle and try to pull off some big time damage. But Sneasler, come on, man. You got to soak up that sucker punch. We should be 1 0. We're sitting 0 oh, 1 now instead. They're going to go in with double ghost. No fake outs allowed. Malmar on the field. Dark type looking pretty nice. Um, I can take off items. Um, I can't go for my nice little what's it called either. I can't go for my, uh, what is it even called? I could Thrasilize into fighting. But the problem here is Ghost should be neutral to us. So, you know, we're just going to go knock off here. And I'm just going to get rid of this, the disguise. Or I could just, like, switch you out. I am scared a little bit. A fairy move could actually rip it into Malamar like a play rough. But, you know, we'll take the risk here. We'll take the risk. We're going get, to get rid of that disguise. Say, see you later to that. Hopefully they're not going for play rough. They probably are going for play rough. That's the problem with this fighting terror type. We got sludge bomb. Mm, okay, we soak. No poison. Cool. And you sword dance up. I would love to topsy turvy that. I would love to topsy turvy that. Knockoff's gonna fly in that slot. Beautiful damage. We can grass guy pick up the KO. We can grass guy pick up the KO. Knockoff's disabled. Just what I wanted. Disable knockoff. Just what I wanted. So again, we can grassy guide for the KO there. Um, and I think that's definitely gonna play. And then we can just go for topsy turvy. Yeah. I'm with that. I'm with that. I'm with it all day. Thing is, you're probably going for play rough, but I hope you don't. Like, I hope Malmar does something. Hopefully, you go for another sword dance. Hopefully, you're just like, screw it. We'll go for another sword dance. Or maybe you try to shadow sneak my. I roll him down. The grass guy's gonna go first. Bye bye, Gengar. That's actually big time for us. Gengar later. And maybe you miss a player off or something like that. Let's see. X scissor. That's fine. That's fine. You take out you take out Roboom. We're gonna top to turvy this. So I, I'm not allowed to use what's it called. Not allowed to use knockoff, it's disabled. This thing's orbed. But we're gonna say, hey yo, those stats that you boosted, let's flip them around. Let's flip them around. So this thing's now minus two on attack. Really good. Minus two on attack. Um, I'm guessing they have rain. I'm guessing they're gonna bring out rain. I'm gonna bring out Primarina here. They definitely were looking just to get rid of Rollboom. They're gonna go into Azumarill. Azumarill. So Azumarill out and about. Um, again, the fairy moves really scare me. 
Very moves definitely scare me. So, I mean, I can simply protect here. I can boost my special attack. I have grass. Um, I think our, I think our typing is fine right now. So I'm going to boost our special attack with this hyper voice. Get that throat spray popping and then start getting after it. So you got a zoom rail. If I had to guess the next Pokemon, it's got to be a rain setter. But they stay on the field with Mimikyu, which is actually rather nice. Rather nice. The X scissor gets blocked, and are you what are you? Are you belly drumming? You might be belly drumming. You might be belly drumming. That's that's looking a little scary. Are you drumming of bellies? It's good to know that we actually outspeed it though. The third spray gonna get boosted. No, you're going for Aqua Tail. Doubling down to Malamar. We'd love to see that. We'd love to see that. We'd love to see that. So Malamar gonna get back a little bit of HP here. X scissor going to it's gonna KO us. Actually, I mean you're minus two. I think we just leave Malamar on the field. I can't use- dude, it's so annoying that I can't use knockoff. One more turn for disabled. We'll boost our stats instead. So I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna launch another Hyper Voice just to KO the Mimikyu here. And you got Woodhammer. Luckily you went in the Malamar there. <laughs> you got a- you got a- you got a wide variety of moves here. X Scissor, Swords Dance, Woodhammer. You might not even have Poirot. This might be good for us. So I'm gonna boost our stats, attack and defense, which is good as Zoomerill's physical attacking. Marine is going to go next. It is going to dump on the Mimikyu and deal a little bit of damage to Zumarel. And Zumarel, you're going to go for an Aqua Tail here. Oh, okay, Aqua Tail. Fine, Malmar soaks thanks to this defense boost. And I like where we're sitting. I really like where we're sitting. Primarina plus one already. Malmar bulking up. It's got leftovers. It's got terrain cooking. Knockoff's actually back, which is good. So I can take off items again. Topsy Turvy looked like, worked like a charm. I think Swords Dance, I was like, alright, this is a little bit of an issue. Well, he's gonna end up going into Politoed. Now, Politoed could be definitely annoying with, like, Encore and stuff like that. But I think our best bet is to just go for a knockoff here, just start getting rid of items, and we'll start Moonblasting down this, uh, Azumarill. Azumarill is the one main threat right now of attacking. Like, yeah, Politoed can do respectable damage, but in the grand scheme of things, it's like, okay, I got, I got a bunch of Pokemon that could deal some damage. If we get rid of Azumarill, we could probably win this game. Polythor gonna rip an EQ, hit everybody, knockoff's gonna fly, get rid of its item, and do a monstrous amount of damage. Never melt ice, gone. Why do you got never melt ice? Probably for your ice moves. And they just turn off their console. Alright, cool, I'll take that win. Like I said, Sneasler was banned for this match. It's gonna make a return in match number three, maybe, depending on the matchup. But hey, we're sitting one and one, let's go hop to our third and final match. Final match on its way, and Sneasler's one game band is officially over, which means I can use it again, and honestly, I want to use it again up against this Snorlax team. They also have Disguise Mimikyu, they got Indeedee, they got Gargonackle, they got Miascarada, and last but not least, they are rocking out with Dragonite. So, one thing I do notice is a lot of physical attackers, so I would love to honestly start boosting with Superpower. I think that could be good, so leading fake out Sneasler, alongside with Malmar. I can get down with that. So that's going to be my lead in the back end. Got to have that choice specs Dragon Pole. Just such, such a fast Pokemon. Such a good late game Pokemon as well. So I'm going to end up rocking that. And last but not least, Primarina. Going to be super effective onto the Dragonite, the Miascarada, the Gargonackle. God love it. God love it. Plus its typing is super well. It's going to only lose up against Miascarada. And no, just Miascarada or like Salt Cure. Looks a little tough. Yeah, Salt Cure does look tough. I hate Salt Cure. I love using it. Hate it. But guys, I got a question for you guys. Have you guys ever played Pokey Rogue? I actually just started playing Pokey Rogue with uh, two of my buddies. We just like hop on at night. And it's like a battle frontier where it's just like endless waves. And you go to like the highest wave. I think 200 is like where you beat the main story. And then you can just like keep going. But you start with like certain Pokemon. And then once you die, you have to restart. It's really cool. You can play it just like online if you just go online and search Pokey Rogue. Maybe I'll stream it for you guys one day. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would like to see that. But Pokey Rogue, go check it out. Definitely go check it out. A really fun game. Really fun like Battle Tower kind of game. All right. Let's see. Let's see who they lead here. They got... Da -da -da, and DD Mimic you. Uh, do I really want to go for superpower there? I mean, I can go for knockoff. I can't fake out because you know the surge is here. The surge is here. And honestly, just going for like a dire claw here. Looking for a stash condition. I like the most. Actually, 
You're gonna pop expanded forces. Look at a dark type and dire claw. I'll go for superpower. Let's boost our stats up. Let's see what he's got cooking. We're going dark terror type. Since we're already dark with Malamar, I am gonna double down with a dark Pokemon. Double now, Dark Pokemon gonna be real nice. I feel like the only attacking move in DD could possibly have is Expanding Force or Psychic. This could be good who they end up protecting. So I don't get my superpower off, but I will be able to take out the skies, which is nice. Can I get like a sleep here? That'd be amazing. That'd be beautiful. Can you even put status conditions on him through disguise? Yes, not. He's gonna end up tricking me. What are you giving me? You mean item Iron Ball, maybe? You Iron Balling me? Obtain a ring target. What the heck does a ring target do? Hold up. Hold up. What's a ring target do? Uh, what's a ring target do? <laughs> I don't think I ever see this item. Ring target? Ring target. Just making sure I read that right. Let's go see. What, what, you, what is that? What is that? An item to be held by a Pokemon. Moves that would normally have no effect due to type matchup. Will... Still hit the holder? An item held by a Pokemon moves that would normally have no effects due to type matchup would still hit the holder. So, expanding force can still hit me. Is that what you're saying? Or can I hit you with moves? I don't really know. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm going to go Dire Claw here. We're just gonna go for an alcohol. Let's attack Sandini. Then trying to boost my stats. End up withdrawing you, and we're going for our poison move, Dire Claw. Looking to rip up India. Let's see what you got. Let me Dragonite. So Dire Claw, not a bad move. Deal decent damage. Status condition? Nothing. Expanded Force is gonna fly here. Does affect Sneasel. It shouldn't do that much damage to you, right? Yeah, I was gonna say, it should still be not very effective. And okay, knockoff flies. Nice call on Arn. Beautiful call on Arn. Alright, so you can't go for E Speed, which is good. You have Focus Sash, um. Other Dire Claws, nice. We might just want to double down this Dragonite, because honestly, you're not doing that much. We're going to double down this Dragonite. We're going right after this Dragonite. We're going right after it. And Indeedee's protecting. Get on out of here. We're doubling down into Dragonite. We're doubling right on down into this thing. Dire Claw launching. Sneasel trying to make up for its game suspension, and it just did! It just did! It made up! He's looking to bounce back, a big time sleep with the RNG. Sneasler, let's go. Let's go. Knockoff gonna fly. Bye bye, Dragonite. We already got rid of the skies on Mimikyu. This indeed is in a tough position. I love it. I love it. I love it. So again, Sneasler getting that one game suspension after match number one. We suspended him. We ended up winning the match. And now it's sitting here like, hey, I wanna get back into starting lineup. Sneasler's so playing his heart out today. Playing his heart out today. So how comes Miascarada? Miascarada a little scary. I mean, I would think you'd rather go after Sneasler, so I'm just going to protect Sneasler. Actually, Sneasler, you got Focus Ash. You might as well just attack here. You might as well go for Dire Claw and Superpower here. You have Focus Ash. I was going to say we protect Sneasler and just attack with Malmore. But doubling down to this Miascarada is probably more so to play. Because if you attack the Sneasler, it's fine. It's fine. Player off going with two launch. Did we just dodge that? I know you're switching fairy typing. You going after it. Sneasler's just dodging. Alright, cool. Thank you, Sneasler. Dire Claw flies. Bye bye. So again, Sneasler. Definitely earned a starting spot. Definitely earned a starting spot back. Killing it today. Aren't you going crazy with it? RNG's going crazy with it, so they bring back out the Mimikyu. A little bit of left is actually going to bring it back up to full HP, but nonetheless, it still doesn't have its disguise, which is a big part of its game. Um, Ndidi's going to come back out here. Um, from here, do we just KO the Ndidi first? No, we're just going to Dire Claw you. Dire Claw going crazy. And we'll just KO the Ndidi. It could protect, but I think they just cancel the match. Not going to lie. They still have Terra, though. But I feel like a lot of Mimikyu's Terrors is just Grass, which is why we probably haven't seen it yet. And with Grass comes Poison Weakness, so Sneasler is here for that. 
still here for that. We still have Dragapult in the back end, who we haven't used too much today. We used it in Master 1, and it worked wonders under the Dust Cops. But again, don't mean to keep bringing up the pants, but Sneasler did not help us out on that one. Sneasler did not help us out on that one. But they do end up canceling the match. We go 2-1 and grab ourselves a winning record. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Contrary Malamar in ranked regulation age. This Pokemon actually works wonders. We didn't really use superpower too much, but knock off taking off items with stab damage. And Topsy Turvy going crazy really did make us grab ourselves a nice winning record. Sneasler, great as always. Dragapult, we got to use a little bit. And then the other Pokemon, Volbeam, Primarina, and Talonflame. Just straight meta Pokemon are always good in this format. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos are good live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.